Don't worry, we are not here to preach the benefits of tobacco or even to instill a need in you to smoke a cigar. We are here to look at different reasons why a person smokes a cigar. So we rounded up our regular cigar smokers and we asked them why do they smoke a cigar. Some of the answers that we received was that I feel very relaxed whenever I light a cigar. My peers take me very seriously whenever they see me smoke a cigar. I feel elevated and like I've arrived in life whenever I smoke a cigar. Cigars are one of the finest things in the world to be tasted. Some of them smoke cigars for the aroma and flavor profile of the cigar. A cigar makes a conversation or your company or even a round of golf more fun. No matter what your reasons could be or you could probably have all of them to smoke a cigar. But one thing is for sure that a cigar can be enjoyed by anyone and everyone at any time. Now that you found your reason to smoke a cigar, let's find out what is a cigar. A cigar is a tightly rolled bundle of dried fermented tobacco leaves that is ignited so that its smoke may be drawn into the mouth. A cigar comprises of three layers of tobacco leaves, the filler, the binder and the wrapper. A 100% natural product that's been cured, fermented and aged to bring out the aromas and flavors of tobacco. Blends of tobacco from different regions and origin contribute to bouquets of aromas and flavors catering to different palates and pockets. Now you know what's a cigar, it's time to pick the right cigar for yourself. Cigar comes in many shapes and sizes with many flavor profiles. So it can get a little intimidating if you do not know where to begin. So we have made it very easy by classifying it into three different categories. First time smoker, your regular or occasional smoker and the third category is a cigar aficionado. For the first time smokers, we suggest you start with small sizes. Example, Perla, Corona, Robusta, etc. The smaller the size of the cigar, the lesser the commitment to the cigar in time and money. Always remember, smoke a cigar at least three to four times before you can conclude your verdict on the same. Also, a simple hack to remember or to choose a cigar is to go by the color of the cigar wrapper. Sometimes, lighter the color of the wrapper, lighter the flavor profile, and darker the color of the cigar wrapper, stronger the flavor profile. The best way to choose the right cigar for you is to speak to your local cigar expert at Cigar Connection who will guide you to your perfect cigar based on the occasion, the food or beverage you're pairing your cigars with, or even the budget you have for your newfound hobby. For the occasional smoker, you know what your occasional cigars taste like. So we suggest try different lines of cigars that you may come across at your local cigar shop. You have an array of options when it comes to seed origin like Habano, Connecticut, Cameroon, Sumatran, etc. And also the wrapper Colorado, Maduro, Oscuro, Corojo. And the same line could taste different in different sizes as well like Perla, Corona, Robusto, Toro, Double Toro, Churchill. While you try different shapes, sizes and shades of cigars, we suggest you try cigars with different pairings as well. It's always nice to follow an expert's advice, but the best way to experiment with cigars is to do it yourself. Since no two palettes are alike, it's always better to try your own as the old adage goes, one man's food is another man's poison. Now for the cigar aficionado, this is where limited editions, small batches and experimental series come into the picture. Since your palate is used to different cigars and their flavor profiles, there is a constant need to try something different and unique apart from the ones you are comfortable with. To know about such cigars and their releases in your local market, it's best advised to be on the speed dial of Cigar Connection. You've selected your cigar and decided where you'll be savoring it. Now it's time to see how a cigar is meant to be cherished. Once you've got the cigar out of the cellophane, touch and feel the cigar. Check the texture of it to see if it is soft and supple or hard and dry. Smell the aromas of the cigar while taking a whiff of it. Cut the cap of the cigar. Snip the end by 1-2 to two millimeters within the mark of the cap to ensure you get a smooth draw. 
There are multiple styles of cutters to suit your smoking preference. Example, punch cutter, guillotine cutter, V cutter. Do a dry draw before you light the cigar to see if the airflow is smooth. Toast the cigar. Use butane lighters, wooden matchsticks or cigar spills to toast the cigar evenly. Ensure that the flame doesn't touch the foot of the cigar directly. Light the cigar. Hold the cigar in your mouth and roll the cigar while you puff it with the flame barely touching the foot of the cigar. As you draw the smoke into your mouth, roll it on your palate and exhale. Rule number one, never inhale. Try to roll the smoke on your palate for as long as you can and look for how it tastes on your palate. There are numerous things to look for when you smoke a cigar. The draw of the cigar, the strength of the cigar, the body of the cigar, the flavor profile of the cigar. In short, smoke a cigar until you enjoy them. Always have a gap of 60 to 120 seconds between puffs to ensure you're not only enjoying the cigar, but also puffing too soon can make you feel nauseous. You can remove the band of the cigar before you light it or after you do. Always remove the band halfway through the cigar. Nobody has ever spoken about the brilliant aroma of the band ever. You never tap the ash of the cigar, but let the cigar do it for you. If you're smoking in a public place, it is not decent to let the ash fall over. In such cases, leave the cigar on the ashtray and a gentle stroke will take care of the ash. If the cigar goes out, do not worry. You can always relight it and resume your smoking experience. Remember, cigars are meant to enhance your experience regardless of what you're doing. Drink an expensive glass of single malt, sip on civet cat poop coffee or even read a book. Cigars are meant to enhance any of the sensorial experience that you're engaged in. Most cigar smokers point towards a bottle of single malt whiskey or cognac or even age drums whenever you talk about the best pairing with cigar. Though aged rums and spirits do go well with cigars because of the nature of the way it's been made, but we suggest you to pair your cigars with other beverages as well. Some beverages like coffee, wines, mezcal, cocktail, etc. can also go really well with cigars. There are two principles one must follow to go about cigar pairings. Complementary. This method is where you pair the strength and the body of the cigar with the aromas and the body of the beverage. Example, a full-bodied Maduro wrapper cigar with a full-bodied dark roast coffee or a heavy red wine. A light-bodied cigar with a light-bodied Speyside whiskey. A medium-bodied cigar with a 4-5 to five year old medium-bodied Caribbean rum or a VSOP cognac. The tasting notes of the beverage and the flavor profile of the cigars are usually matched and paired in this style of pairing. Sweet cigars with sweet beverages or oaky whiskies with musty cigars. Contradictory. In this method, you contradict the body and flavor profile of cigars and beverages, where you try to heighten the nuances of the cigar and the beverage through individual experiences. For example, you pair a sweeter and mellower cigar with a rich and heavy whiskey or a full-bodied wine or a decadent cognac exo. Similarly, a rich, heavily bodied complex cigar can be paired with floral gins or whiskies or sweet white wines. To conclude the discussion on cigar pairings, it's safe to say that every palette is unique and there's no set absolute pairing for any palette out there. In the end, it's your personal preference and what you love or detest that plays an important role in heightening your smoking and drinking experience. We suggest that you try pairing whatever you can think of. Some pairings might end up a dud and some could be a super hit that you could boast about at your next gathering. For a detailed and guided journey into the world of indulgence, contact us at Cigar Connection.